Hi, welcome back to Crochet Creations and uh, Happy Scrappy Yarn Challenge. This is a collaboration I've been doing all year with Christy Cook from Tea Doddles. And so grab a cup and join me as I announce the theme for October. We have our own Facebook page for this group. And uh, we've been getting together every month for different themes of just having fun using up your scraps. So if you've got a skein of yarn that kind of has been hanging around and you don't know what to do with it and maybe a basket of scraps that you might like to get some new ideas to use them up then maybe you'd like to join us in our little collaboration this year we've only got three months left um, October is my month she was doing free form last month that was interesting in fact I even found some freeform books and I gave one away a couple days ago because I thought, oh my gosh, it fit right into her theme. So that was fun. So today I'm here to let you know that I've come up with uh, the theme. So of course I had to name it. <laughs> so it's, it's going to be called uh, Spooktacular Scraps. <laughs> And I've got a lot of orange sitting in front of me. A little bit of black and a little bit of yellow. <laughs> but um, I was thinking, you know, anything Halloween that's using up your scraps would be perfect. So we're, we're um, I'm going to be sharing a couple of little uh, patterns and things that I found on different places like Pinterest and things like that in the group. So throughout the month, you might want to watch for those. That's always fun. And then if you just like orange or you just like fall, by all means, you could do like uh, maybe a set of placemats or I mean not placemats, but coasters that are in the uh, shape of the fall leaves, like a maple leaf or whatever in different colors, um, oak, oak leaves, whatever. Um, maybe you could do um, a wreath and make some, you know, scarecrow out of, out of crochet and put it on the wreath. Um, there's a lot of things that you can use your scraps up for. So use your heads, get creative, and join me for a month of spring spectacular scraps and so I have quite a few things that I've made out of scraps now this one is a set that I made out of premiere every day and this is a color called bittersweet and but this is not even a full skein but it's the hat for about three to six months and then the booties and these booties have a little bit of fur on the sides I used uh, I think it was Lion Brand faux fur for that and they are the Parker booty done in a four medium with a little bit bigger hook I usually use a G um, and a three medium or three light but these are done in the four, so I used a H, I believe, on these. Made them a little bit bigger. So the hat is uh, just a regular crochet beanie top with your uh, double crochet front post bore, uh, brim. So that's one of the things that I did. In fact, this yarn is the yarn that I used for Hats, Hats, and More Hats for the month of October. So if you'd like to win one of those, you can always join my other Facebook group and make a hat for October and try and win a skein of that Premier Everyday uh, Anti-Pilling 100% um, acrylic and the color is bittersweet. So that's one thing I brought out. And then I always make fall towels for my craft fairs. I really like making them. 
and um, a lot of them can be made in a plain towel you just make in the top so the toppers can be plain or they can have like fancy buttons for the holiday and there's a pumpkin face on this one these are very easy I do have my own pattern that I prefer and um, I do the outsides different so really there's a million patterns out there for these to do these and I really don't have a written pattern for mine because it's so close to everybody else's so that's one and then I have a couple in the loud colors like this one and then it just has the plain top because it's so loud I figure that they had enough in the regular colors but then I have a couple that I bought with um, either pumpkins or turkeys on and then added a handmade uh, button on wooden button on them that say handmade and then I had I found a couple more of the uh, the leaves this one's really nice I like this one a lot and I was just using up my scraps and usually I use uh, four medium a good worsted um, workhorse yarn for these so that way they don't stretch out as easy and always use either a half double crochet or a herringbone a half double crochet herringbone because you don't want your double crochet stretch stretches out too much when you put them on your when you take these and put them on your stove it just stretch those stitches just stretch out so either use that or single crochet and then I had one which was really nice in this pretty maroon color so I did a, a maroon color top for that one and then I think there's one more and this one oh no I showed you this one yeah showed you that one so that's all of those so those will be uh, available here's one I didn't show you this one these are available at my craft tables when I get ready to go and I think there's a possibility we're gonna be canceling again I don't know I hope not so then I brought out three pairs of booties that I have available in my Etsy shop. These have little spiders on them. They are a button. I just sewed them on. <laughs> and they're made out of cotton. Um, the sugar and cream cotton. And then just sewed on. I sewed on the, um, well, they're not sewed on. You just go around the edge um you chain so many and then go around the edge and chain so many so that way it the tie stays right on the booty and then i had a pair that this pattern i found on pinterest it's for the candy corn booties and i added little daisies down the side and made them a little more decorative and put them in a little bag and tied on a happy Halloween so when I put them on my table they they look like a little treat bag but they're actually baby booties in newborn size so those are those are always fun and then I did another pair and this pair also has a pattern on on Pinterest now I will show share these if I can find them um, they won't look like this because the girl did them in green, but I changed it to the black um, and the orange variegated. Um, the shoes have a double sole on these, so they stand right up. And I put little jack-o'-lantern buttons on these too. So there's another pair. These are in my Etsy shop too. So yeah, so that is about all I have to share as far as finished objects for this, this show. But I do want to give away a prize for October 
for the Happy Scrappy Yarn Challenge, and I am going to include one of my towels this time. I'm going to include one of these with the leaves on and one of the toppers. So you will get one of these towels, but I always, always put in some yarn. So let's see. I decided to put in two hanks of the Knit Crate Audin Wools. And this is a beautiful orange. Isn't that gorgeous? And these are a little bit like, see that? It's light and dark and light and dark. So there's a gradient in this one. Now, I believe the reason for that is the cotton. This is a 34% cotton, 35% linen. 19% lyocell, 11% nylon. So this is a very different mixture. But it's really soft, really, really soft. And you can machine wash this in gentle, but they recommend lay flat to dry. You get 351 yards and 100 grams. And it's the colorway is called pigment. And I guess, I guess they're just calling this an interlock. So that's what it's looking like. And that to me is about a three. But I don't have just one. I have two. So you're going to get both of these beauties and one of Crochet Creations Daisy Stitch Markers. Now, I wish I had an orange one, and I do not. If I can get an orange one before I give the prize away, I will send an orange one. But there's your prize. Your prize is... And in all you have to do is just make a make a project in the month of October. Join the Facebook page, which will be linked down below, and uh, make your scrappy or one skein um, with the theme, and explain to us what your um, what your idea uh, behind your item is, if it's not obvious, if it's not orange, if it's not fall or Halloween themed, and it's not obvious, then let, give us an example of how you figure it falls into the theme for the month. <laughs> and then at the end of the month, right around Halloween, I will draw for a winner. So I hope you're all having a great week. I know it was a little crazy at my work all week. I'm so glad it's Friday. <laughs> so wonderful. <laughs> Thanks all for joining me today. And I hope you'll have a, a great weekend. And I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye now.